Shiv Sena leader Rajesh Shah, father of the main accused, has been granted bail by the Savory Court at a provisional cash bail of 15,000 rupees. Cost of a life is 15,000 rupees. So these rupees. are uh, latest updates coming in. Yes, that's that's a negligible amount, says Sumit Peer. What kind of uh, uh, you know message is being uh, sent out? Uh, Mr. Sai, is it time uh, for the laws to be strengthened? strengthened? Is that no, why this well, brazenness is there, Sanjay Sai? Is that why, you know, this lack of fear of law is there? Should the law be strengthened further? What is needed? See, the laws are in place. It is our capability and our will, political, bureaucratic and police will, to enforce the law. Nobody has stopped us in taking motor vehicle cases all around the place in very specific areas for specific purposes. That particular night, how many cases we have of drunken driving, where you will be, you will be, I think you will find that there are hardly any cases. So every single component from driving license, you will be astonished to believe that in, I think, year 2000, as going for a United Nations mission, they don't take Indian driving license seriously. You have to clear the exam again. So this is where we stand. So from the driving license till every single facet of driving, the vehicle, maintenance of vehicles, cases, the forensic evidence, and the time it takes to finally award that punishment if it were to happen. And then there are lots of uh, suspicious things which happen in, in most of these cases. And the ecosystem, which has finally arrived to a place, as we have seen in the Pune case, that literally everybody is ready to connive. So that is where you stand. You make another law. I think there is a law in one country, I'll not name the country, where uh, you get capital punishment for uh, corruption. And still the corruption is raging high. So laws are there, laws are in place. We don't have the will, capability, expertise, courage, grit, and gumption to use that law in the manner it should be. Investigate the manner it should be and enforce in the manner it should be. If all the CCTVs, in Mumbai or Pune or Bangalore, they throw up the exact details and on that the notification happens and case happens. I think it will be a totally different change world. The people on the road, they should say that they should be a testimony to the quality of enforcement. The victim should be the testimony to the quality of investigation. The victim should be the testimony for the quality of judicial trial, which is basically facilitated by the police investigation and the quality of prosecutors, which will pull it through. Otherwise, defense lawyers will do what they are best at. They are paid for that and that is their profession. We cannot say that somebody uh, hired the best of the brains in this country. They will keep hiring the best of the brains in this country. If they have money to, uh, money to buy BMW and give it to the kids who are not fit, even to drive a bicycle, yes. or you ride a bicycle, I think they will keep... Uh, Naveen Jumal, final word to you. Closing comment. Ultimately, it is the awareness of the people that should be, what do you say, uh, taken to a good level. Because today, everybody is taking this um, driving laws very casually and in a very callous manner. I think the government should go for a very uh, uh, vast drive, making awareness. And of course, I am not agreeing with Mr. Sahai. I am still sticking to the point that the laws should be made more stringent as in the foreign countries, developed countries, where the punishment for this type of accidents or any other violation of the motor vehicle line mm -hmm. should be made very seriously punishable and the license also should be confiscated. So there has to be a deterrence. And along with the deterrence, there has to be a good awareness in the society that what we are doing, how we are ultimately uh, coming to a stage where the moment we get rich, the moment we get all these luxury cars, we end up into some sort of crimes. So that but culture should be stopped. And I was uh, let me reiterate that there are so many CCTV cameras, so they should be made use to it, not just for collecting fines for over speeding, but there should be a mechanism that the moment we see a car over speeding, it should be intercepted. Because one of the duty of the police is also to prevent the crime and not to take the action only after the crime takes place. So we must definitely, what do you say? Um, make the things uh, effective and ultimately that awareness there should be there because ultimately I, I can say that safety safety depends on the nuts on the wheel so ultimately we have to see that there are no nuts on the wheel there are proper people on the wheel
For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.